All right, well, I think we're going to go ahead and do a storyline mission, like I said at the end of the last episode. I want to real quickly make uh, some Psycho Jets. There we go. That brings our overall total up to like a retarded 50 or something like that. Uh, yeah, 51. Jesus Christ. Man cannot live off of uh, stem packs alone. But I sure as hell am trying because I haven't eaten actual food in forever. All I do is stick myself with stem packs and drink psycho jets. That's all I do. I'm like the most now. I, I should be completely malnourished. I shouldn't look as healthy as I do. <laughs> I'm just full of drugs. That's it. Anywho, uh, let me repair this real quick and we'll hit the road. I've already dumped off everything. All right, looks good. You should make good time when the weather is clear. God, I need to send Buzz Lightyear somewhere else because it's really getting annoying. And that's my nickname for him. I thought of that the other day. It's just like he looks like he look, he looks and acts like Buzz Lightyear. So I don't know where he is. I heard him. It's whatever. Anyway, the luckier level. Blah, blah, blah. Screws him on. We'll do that later. Talk to Sturgis. Oh, yeah, okay. People messaging me. Uh, Everything looks good on my end. You ready to see if this thing actually works? Yeah, sure. Let's do this. You sure? Okay. Your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Yeah, sounds promising. Whenever Used you're ready. Signal interceptor. Blip. Okay, hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. Oh yeah. By the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the institute and what they're up to. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we better hurry. And don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh, just there for decoration. The fuck? Okay. Scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. Okay. Bloop. Oh, hey, look, we're actually in the Institute. I'll be damned. It actually worked. Sweet. Quick save. Stuff. I love how apparently we're in the Institute, which is this advanced civilization of sense and stuff where everything's like, like you know, way better than it is in the Commonwealth. And yet there's still toolboxes laying around with crap on them. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is where we can put that holotape in that he just gave us, right? The network scanner. Downloading, downloading, downloading. So now I can get the tape back, right? Perfect. Okay, cool. So we did what Serge just wanted us to do with the whole... Hello. Father. I oh. wonder if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Like father, like in... I am known as father. Full Metal Alchemist, father? Is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Broken. Institutionalized. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. Wait, where's my weapons? I'd like to show you that you may have 
action. Sounds like Morgan Freeman mixed with Welcome a G-Man. Whoa! This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. That's buggy. I already don't like this guy because he's like, I don't know, he seems like fishy. Applicator. Ear examiner. Tweezers. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, here we go. Oh, John? My son? Sean. Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. Sean. Is that really you? Who are you? Sean. What's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! His father, where is he? Father, father, help me! He's trying to take me. Father, father, help me! Shot. S nine twenty three. Recall code. Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype. You are. Hold on one second. Understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome. To the institute. So that's not my son, that's a synth. Give me Sean, the real Sean, right now! I know, I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the institute. Closer than you think, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been... Re it's good to finally meet you. What? Why did I cut him off? After all this time. I didn't push anything. I am Sean. I am... Your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son 
you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. They stole you, kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on. At that time, the year 2227. Why does I keep cutting off? The Institute had made great strides in synth production, but it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral da- yeah, collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, 
I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? See, the problem with me is this. We've seen what the synths can do. They are superhuman robotic monsters. And they just destroy and kill everything without even thinking about it. And this is like some sort of utopian world where everything's perfect. And just because up top things are shitty and we're trying to kill all the bad things to survive with the Brotherhood and the Minutemen, that makes us savages. And wrong. Because we didn't get ourselves underground like they did. And they think that they're, you know, better. I, I'm just going to be front with you. I, I, I don't... I don't like the Institute. I don't. I mean, he's... Uh, that's our son. Um, but he's been brainwashed. They're not really brainwashed. He's just been raised to just they're constantly. Uh, or what's the word? I mean, he he's he's dedicated in his thoughts. He doesn't think. He's not gonna. We're not gonna change his opinion after living fucking sixty five something years on whatever. How however old he is. Um. So I don't know. I I guess we'll hear him out. Uh, just like we've done with the Brotherhood and the Railroad and the Minutemen, we're going to try to uh, stick with them for a while. That way, we don't cut ties with anybody. We don't go down too. We don't go down a road too far, and you know, cut ties with another faction. So we can't do missions for that faction. I want to get the most out of every single faction in the game before we end up betraying one of them. So we'll see what we can do. I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I, I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? I just don't know. Just give it time. I'm not giving him a firm give answer. Give the Institute a chance. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Well, that's our synth fake son. Okay, well... Bye, son. So yeah, apparently our son is some sort of old man now. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past yeah. their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I Let's just leave the power over. Even so, ready to see the full gym free. All right, so we get to meet with. Go. 
All set. Division heads. Bioscience. Okay, well, let's go in here first. This place is fucking huge, by the way. Look at this shit. So it's a little, uh... That's quite a bit to take in. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't like the Institute so much, but... Um, if we want to get the full... You know, the full experience of the game, I guess we're going to have to give them all a shot. Of course, be me being me, I've got to poke my nose into everything before we end up going somewhere. Uh... Plates? 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 Or quarter? Unfortunately, I don't think my lock picking is going to do me any good here because everything seems to be a. Uh... Never mind. Take that back. I was going to say everything seems to be like controlled by a computer terminal, but maybe. Uh... Oh, come on, really? Jesus. Sweet. Oh, the Fev Lab. Fuck, I didn't even read that. Well, I guess we'll get around to checking out that bioscience place sooner or later. What the fuck? Wait for it to stop. There we go. Okay. The hell? This is fucking creepy. Am I gonna need weapons here? See what it is. It's like an airlock. Alright. Duh. I'm not sure what the hell that was for a second. Oh, shit. <gasps> it's the only bad thing about being in the, uh, And it, without having my... Power armor on is that I can't stim pack myself... Automatically. I, I have to actually do the animation. Uh, no thanks. Where the hell are we going? Not what I want to see without my power armor. Legendary Assaultron. Uh, Psycho Jet. Ah. Now he's stealth! Get messed up, son. I just wrecked your s Oh, fuck! He blew up afterwards. Owie. Jesus. Alright, well, hang on one second. Apparently I'm standing near something that's fucking radioactive. Hell if I know what it is. Alright, um, we leveled up, so let us take advantage of that. Yeah, we have gun nut maxed out. So the next thing I wanted to do was science, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Science it is. Let's try to kind of quickly run our way through here before we get too much radiation. Ooh, yellow paint. Blue paint. God, I can't believe there was a fucking Assaultron in here. Much less a legendary one. I didn't know they exploded when you killed them. Yeah, that's about right. Um, let's see, hang on. 
wait. That's my helmet, which I should have left on the power armor. Um, yeah, I don't need that. What am I doing back here, though? I mean, like, is there a point to all this? I halfway think this is probably like an area I have to go to later, and I'm just going ahead of time because I'm a dumbass. Who doesn't know what I'm doing? Uh, let's see. Yep. 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 I can't really pick up any weapons right now because I can't carry them. I mean, I guess I could technically go back and, like, drop a bunch of stuff off. Uh, like right here. Oh, technical document. I guess I could do that. Um, Pray to God we don't forget that that's there, because, I mean, it's not anything really important, but it is stuff that I would like to keep. Because I'm a hoarder. Uh, let's see, so now we can get... Glue, paint, paint, duct tape and fuse. Dead cat. Aww. There are dead cats all over the place back here. Now tell me that. Oh god! The fact that I was staring at that face and heard that noise just absolutely scared the living shit out of me. wasn't enough. Let's try it again. There we go. God, that was terrifying. I was just messing around with, you know, you, the viewer. Ugh. We are a terrifying species. Why would I open that? There's nothing in there. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. That's it. It's a kickball in here. That's it. And cat meat. Oh, waste. That's about right, though. Ugh, fuck, is there anything in there? Whoa! Whoa! <coughs> Oh, come on. Wait. Do I not have any ammo for this gun? Really? Oh, it takes 50 caliber rounds. That's right. I didn't grab any. I forgot that. I forgot all about doing that. All right, well, nothing in there. I actually think there's something in there. I don't know for sure, though. So, let's waste time trying to find out. Yes. Oh! Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. 
Well, I mean, how you expect me to? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so much for exploring the institute. Me? No. Oh fuck! I didn't even see this guy. I'd much rather just explore this random fucking decrepit area of the Institute rather than seeing the actual Institute itself where shit looks nice. Bor... Yes. Fuse, okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. When Virgil helped us get into the Institute, didn't he tell us that he wanted us to get him... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Virgil was the super mutant out in the radiation area who told us how to make the machine that would get us into the Institute. And he told me that when we got there that we had to get like a serum for him because he was working in the bioscience lab and that's where we are. I wonder if it's in here. I wonder if I'm just imagining things. Let's see. Let's see. We'll play this. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report from the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine. With one... Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from, but, well, this is trouble. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized, but I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Hmm. Yeah, hang on. I mean, it's... No? Man, maybe I'm just imagining that. I could have sworn he told... It. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, this is it! The serum! Yeah! Bring serum to Virgil. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what this was all for. Okay, so it wasn't for nothing. Thank God. And this goes back out somewhere. Apparently, I'm, I'm going to guess and say it's a door that we can't enter otherwise. Now, let me just check something here. Okay, yeah. Right. No, you can. Oh, wait. No, wait, wait it's blocked off with those lasers. So. Nope, no, no, no. Okay. There we go. Yeah, right, because this is where we're going to come in, right? I guess this probably goes... Didn't we go this way? Oh, no, we didn't. And I don't know where anything is. I'll definitely sell these uh, lab coats, though. Where did we come from? Plants? This is where we came from, and we went this way, right? Isn't that how, isn't this the way we went? Yeah, yeah, because we went into the FEV lab. And we came from this way. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because there's that recorder I was looking at. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go in there and talk to this guy, then. Dr. Holdren's synth gorilla project Not this guy. Uh, this guy in here. I think. Or is someone over here? Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's right here. 
He's eager to get that going. Oh, come on. He's had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. You've been right here. Fuck me. I walked right by him. For so long up there, don't you think? Hi, Doc. There's still people. And Hi, Doc. Good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holden. Stop talking. We're talking now. Shut up. I can't wait. How can we hope to redefine man? Why is your voice louder than his? Hold on to our own humanity. Oh, fuck whatever. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, I I stick out like a sore thumb here. As the name implies, the bioscience division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics and medicine our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute to that end we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine we've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life you probably saw the gorillas they're really just a pet project at this point but the potential is exciting nonetheless the gorillas aren't real the gorillas are synths too they are indeed Judging by your reaction, we've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Nah, I'm good, I'm for, good now. for now. Thanks. Take care, then. That's my wife saying I don't care anymore. Alright, so there's one down. Now we leave. And we can go talk to another person. No fucking clue how to get to any of them, unfortunately. Is this a stairway here? Okay, it is. Uh, okay, so we'll keep going up for one of them, but the rest of them look like they're beneath me. Toilet. <laughs> what is what is activating it do anything? Oh, get get off the toilet! Get off off the toilet! Hmm. This place is a maze. C cigarettes. Some sort of high tech civilization. This is. to stand out when you're surrounded by geniuses. Then just be the really stupid one and you'll be fine. Here we go. Man, this place is huge. That's just all there is to it. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Excuse me, doctor. Hmm? Oh, Hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics and now I'm doing detailed Fuck. clinical comparisons. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. Yeah, well, hope floats. I'll take your shit, though. Even though I'm encumbered. Well, that was productive. Yeah, I know that. Don't tell me twice. Uh, fuck. I need to drop something else off. Get rid of that. I can get rid of all the institute pistols. I really don't need them. Boop. Hello, you. Excuse me, doctor. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. <laughs> I get the impression you don't want me here. What I want, in this case, is largely irrelevant. Father gave his orders. Oh, before I forget, let me see that Pip-Boy of yours. 
I've been told to install a Courser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Uh, I'm good for I'm now, good bitch. Alright. Alright, so. She was a bitch. We're gonna leave. Wait a minute, I saw something. It's over here. Oh wait, no, it's the same. Idiot. Okay, so we've talked to two out of four. I've got a lot of stuff I need to go back and get, but I just don't know where the fuck it was. It was in the... the bio lab, right? The bioscience, yeah, which is right... right here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And we left our suit of armor... Um... No. No. Yes, okay. Awesome. Okay, so here's our armor. Get in. And I can actually put my helmet on, which would save us a little bit of inventory space. There we go. So now, oh yeah. Let's go back to that bioscience real quick and get the... Get the stuff. It's not bioscience. That's not bioscience. That's not bioscience. Maybe this one actually was bioscience. Right here, this one. Oh yeah, it is. Man, you can't really read that. That's kind of hard to tell. I think I'm getting the place down, though. Kind of, sort of. As long as you can get in that middle area there. Oh, hang on. Um, we needed to go... Back into here. Here? No, it's in here. Yeah, the FEV lab. Okay. And all of our stuff should be right inside here. I think. I hope. Yeah. Perfect. So, yeah. I'm going to call it here, actually. And in the next episode, we will continue exploring this area talking to the other two uh, directors that we need to talk to um, and then maybe seeing what the Institute has in store for us uh, hopefully you know missions stuff like that stuff that pays well I'm hoping a lot of experience caps although I don't understand why they would pay me with caps when apparently they don't really care about the upper world I don't, I don't know why they would even have bottle caps for that matter but fast travels oh well how the fuck do I get out then or can I not leave yet? It's an honor to have you here, sir. Oh shit! I'm in the water. No, oh, let me out. Okay. Uh, how do we? How do we leave? Three levels of approval. You believe that? Three. Does anyone remember how we? Fuck me. Um. Good to see you. Hi, Mister. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. We came down the elevator, though, didn't we? Didn't we? What am I doing? I'm an idiot. I think we have to get in the elevator again. Oh, okay, yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna go up. Someone just swore. I heard it. Wearing Brotherhood of Steel armor in the fucking Institute. Like, it's whatever. I'm not representing the faction that's trying to wipe this place off the planet of the off the face of the earth. Blech. Yeah, I have no idea. Here we go. So I'm gonna go back. Can 
Can I leave now, maybe? How do I get out? Maybe, I think, I don't think I can leave, to be honest with you. So, it's whatever. Until then, though, um, I'm definitely going to drop off a bunch of crap here. I'm wasting time. I could totally have ended this episode already. Um, and I will. So, yep. In the next episode, we'll do all that stuff I said we'd do. And, uh, you know, try to make a little bit of progress. Explore the Institute, do some missions for them, all that jazz. You can't exit your armor here. Really? Why? What's all the... What's with all the rules? Why can't I... Whatever, whatever. That's it for this one, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next episode.